Hi guys. If you're ever in the opportunity to visit the Netherlands, I highly recommend you do so. Not just because of the people or the vla or the poffertjes or any other substance you might have heard so much about, but because of the nature. This week the results came in of a nationwide vote as to which piece of nature the Dutch find the best. And according to the people you should really visit the Waddengebied. It is an intertidal zone in the north of the Netherlands and most famous for its rich flora and fauna. And really is beautiful. This week I am playing a game where each player is building his own world and every animal counts. Time is of the essence for this week I am playing Mondo. In Mondo, each player creates a perfect world using tiles that are at everyone's disposal. At the beginning of each round, random scoring tiles will be drawn to set a goal for the current round. And then the timer starts. Using only one hand, players try to find the next tile they can add to their world. Each tile should be placed adjacent to a previously played tile. And it's okay if the areas don't match up, although you receive minus points at the end of the round. And once you place a tile, you cannot go back and change its position. Every animal is one point, every active volcano will lose you one point, as well as any errors you might have built in. Every error-free area scores you two points. At the end of three rounds, you add up the points and see who wins. I like Mundo, but then again, I have never lost a game of Mundo. It's hard to not compare it to Galaxy Trucker, which I like a bit better because it's a bit more complex. But if you're a casual gamer or uh, playing with a family, I think you should really give this one a try. Mundo. My name is Dave Luza. Thanks for watching.